suppose that A is an n by n square matrix and that matrix A times vector x equals a zero vector has only the trivial solution. And we are asked here to explain why matrix A has n pivot columns and why matrix A is now row equivalent to the n by n identity matrix. So we want to let A be an n by n matrix. And we also want to go ahead and suppose that matrix A times vector x equals the zero vector, our homogeneous equation, has only the trivial solution. Our zero vector. So if the homogeneous equation has only the trivial solution, we know that that's equivalent by definition to saying that the columns of matrix A are linearly independent. And again, we know by definition here that this implies that no free variables exist. Then we can further conclude that every variable is a basic variable. If we have no free variables, then every variable must be a basic variable, which implies that every column must have a pivot position. We can say that every column must be a pivot column. So therefore, A must have N pivot columns. And we have confirmed the first part of our question. And so now we want to think, why does this tell us that A is now row equivalent to the N by N matrix? So again, just thinking about our definitions here, since A is an n by n matrix, and each pivot must exist in a different row, so we have that each pivot must exist in a different row and a different column. This implies that the pivots must exist along the main diagonal. And so therefore our matrix A is equivalent to the n by n identity matrix when it's in echelon form.